Now, last but not least, we are going to see a program for multiplication of two matrices. This program is very important for exam point of view as well as in practical course also this program plays a very important role because this is one of the best application of arrays in C programming. We know in previous lecture we seen that for addition of two matrices or subtraction of two matrices the main condition is that the rows and arrays in both the matrices should be equal or corresponding arrays and corresponding rows in both the matrices must be equal. But this condition is not applicable in multiplication of two matrices. We can take multiplication of two matrices like this. Suppose this is the first matrix, matrix which is having nine element that is there are three rows, rows 1, rows 2 and rows 3. There are three columns, column 1, column 2 and column 3. Therefore, this matrix is 3 by 3. If we take the multiplication of this matrix A with matrix B which is having only 6 element that is this B matrix having 2 columns and 3 rows then even then we can obtain the mul multiplication of these two matrix and which are nothing but the resultant matrix is like this. This is also 3 by 2 matrix. First one is 3 by 3, second one is 3 by 2 and resultant matrix suppose C is also 3 by 2 matrix. That is what in first matrix there are 3 rows. 1, 2, 3, there are 3 columns, 1, 2, 3, therefore, this is 3 by 3. In second matrix, there are 3 rows and 2 columns, hence this is 3 by 2 matrix and when we take the product of these 2 matrix, we get the resultant matrices which is having 3 rows, 1, 2 and 3 and 2 columns, 1 and 2. That means, here it is need not necessary to have both the matrix matrices having same rows and same column. Okay. Now, before writing the program for multiplication of two matrices, we should know the procedure or algorithm how we can take the product of two matrices. Suppose here first matrix A1, B1, C1, D1, E1, F1, G1, H1 and I1. That means, this is 3 by 3 matrix and A1 to I1 are the elements of this first matrix. Now, if we take another matrix, suppose this matrix is A, this is matrix B. Then this matrix having the element A2, B2, C2, D2, E2, F2, G2, H2 and I2. That means, this is also 3 by 3 matrix. That means, this matrix B is also having 3 rows and 3 columns like matrix A. If we take the product of these 2 matrix, then what will be the resultant matrix? Resultant matrix is like that. Remember that element of first row of first matrix are multiplied to column of second matrix. Sorry, column of second matrix. Okay. And we take the addition of each element with another 
element corresponding element on a straight line. This is the way for our simplicity we are going to consider 2 by 2 matrix. Procedure is one and the same. Suppose here this is also see here how resultant matrix is applied. So, suppose that this this is the first row first row and this is the first column. Suppose this is R 1 and this is C 1. How we can take A 1 into A 1 into A 2 plus B 1 into A 2 B 1 A 2 then C 1 G 2 C 1 G 2. We take the addition like this A 1 A 2 then B 1 D 2 C 1 G 2. Take this multiplication make the multiplication and along with them take the addition of every product and we get the first element in this way we get the first element of first row that is initial like this then take again first row second column the result is put here then first row third column put the result here in this way you can obtain then second row first column put the result here then second row second column put the result here then last second row third column put the result here and lastly the third row first column put the result here then first row second column put the result here and second row last column third column put the result here here also these are three rows and there are three columns in this way the resultant matrix is also 3 by 3 ok now in order to obtain such multiplication of two power matrices a and b we get the resultant matrix matrix c how the program is written for this purpose c here we know first matrix which is 3 by 3 matrix therefore here by using a single array that is a 3 3 we can declare the variables ok why this 3 3 3 these are the rows first box gives rows and second box gives column hence we by using this array we can enter the 9 element that is 3 rows and 3 column of first matrix. Now in order to consider the variables in second matrix this array is useful and for resultant matrix this array is useful. Okay. If we observe cleanly then it is observed that first matrix, second matrix and resultant matrix all of these matrices having 3 rows and 3 columns. Okay. Now in order to perform the operations multiplication we have to consider 3 variable, ith variable, jth variable, kth variable and then after the multiplication of first element of first matrix with first element of second matrix and after then we have to add for this purpose we are going to consider a variable c sum. Now types of all these arrays and all these variables are integer types that is whole number hence we use the types of arrays and integer. Now see here by using this block that means when we are going to perform the multiplication we have to enter the values of different elements sorry different elements of uh, different values for the elements and this is done by using this block printf enter the element of matrix A matrix A we have to enter the elements of matrix A for this purpose and these elements are entered one by one for that purpose we are going to use this for loop this for loop 
is subscript for rows and this for loop is subscript for columns. Therefore, by using these two for loops, we can enter the values. After entering the values, computer or compiler can read the values and store in particular memory location by using this address operator. Okay. And this is also integer type and hence we write here percentage D. Now, in order to enter the value by user and read and scan that value and store it at a particular memory location for second this block is used. In this, this process is same. Process of entering the elements in matrix first, matrix A and matrix B is same and hence if we observe here then the sequence of syntax or statements is same in this box also and here in this box also. That means this block is used to enter the values by user and read and scan that values to a particular memory location for first matrices, matrices A and this block is useful for entering, scanning and storing the values of second matrix B. Okay. Now, when we enter the values, computer can read it, scan it and store at a particular memory location. After then, computer have to display that matrices, both the matrices and first matrix, matrix A is displayed on computer screen by this block. That means, this block is simply nothing but this block gives the inputted matrices X like this. Here also, remember that every value should be on new line hence and the uh, every value should be displayed by the computer one by one therefore for this is subscript for rows this is subscript for rows and this is the value sorry this syntax by using this syntax computer can display the first matrices elements of rows and elements of column that is matrix this is the array and by using this array computer can display the elements values of elements of first matrix one by one and hence here ith rows and jth column okay in this way now by the same way computer can display the values of elements of second matrices by using this block remember that this is the body this is the body of this for loop, this is the body of this for loop and this is the body of this for loop. This is external for loop and these are internal for loop. External for loops are for rows and internal for loops for columns. Okay. Now, after displaying the values okay, uh, on the screen, computer have to perform the calculation. That means like this first element of first row is multiplied to second so first element of first column of second matrix after then second element of first row is multiplied with the second element of first column of and this first and second are added with each other and this for this purpose this block is used. That means what? After multiplication of the element, this element and this element, then this element and this element. Computer have to take the addition of this product. That means A1, A2 and B1, D2. Also product C1, C2. Computer have to add. Hmm? Suppose A1, A2 plus B1, D2 plus C1, G2. In order to perform this operation, computer has performed the operation by using this block. Again here also, computer can do this calculation one by one or step by step for this purpose. Again, this is for row script and this for loop is for column script and before making the addition, computer have to initialize the variable in which the result resultant value stored. So, sum is the variable in which the addition is stored and is this is 
initialized otherwise it takes the garbage value then this is the for loop for put and putting the value in third matrix one by one and when this condition is up to this is happen up to when this condition is true and when this condition is false the execution is stop in this way this is the very important statement by using this statement what type of computer can take the row first element of first row of first matrix with first element of second as the first element of first column of second matrix as you see here and then this is the multiplication of this first row first column first row first column with matrix then it takes the product that is a1 a2 okay and this is a1 a2 plus initially zero that means zero zero plus a1 a2 a1 a2 and this a1 a2 is assigned to sum okay but this sum is nothing but first element of first row and first column of resultant matrix c therefore this sum is assigned to the ith row and jth column of resultant matrix c okay when this operation is done by the computer or performed by the computer then computer should have to display the resultant matrix and this is accomplished by this block okay again the product of matrices is as follow like this and here also the displaying process is again one by one for that purpose for row subscript this for statement is used and every value should be on new line therefore for that purpose new line operator is specially used and this is the column script and the resultant that means this resultant is display or printed by the computer by using this statement where this value is displayed this value resultant value that is product is displayed by this statement and in this way program is completed okay in this way we studied arrays and pointers also various problems or programs regarding arrays and pointers in next lecture we will study the new chapter chapter number 4 that is user define function which is also very very important in order to perform or in order to create the different type of function there are two types of function main function and user defined function what will be the difference between main function or what is the difference between main function and user defined user defined function and this will be study in next lecture till then we shall stop here have a good day thank you